Previously on AI the Somnium Files. No use. It won't budge. Death is come. Damn, I was really hoping for something funny there. I have to wait for the time to run out before I can move. Dante, there is no Damn it, what the hell is boss? Damn it, we just started. <laughs> we suck, I'm a fuck. And now back to AI the horny guy. AI the horny guy. AI the horny guy. Boobies rule. AI the horny guy. Would you like to touch my man's nut? Boo, 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 boo. AI the horny guy. Herbie Dante incoming. AI the horny guy. Hell! Sneaky B. Back with some more AI the Somnium Files. When we last left off, everybody fucking died. <laughs> yep, that was a yellow submarine ending if I ever saw one. Holy shit, literally everyone is freaking dead. Everybody, except for Mizuki and Aiba and a few other people, but fuck them, whatever. Everyone's dead. But more importantly, we did manage to glean uh, a whole bunch of information and finally got to the heart of this game, the true mystery of it all. And that is the body swapping mechanic, but not even just that. Like, because st we still got revealed to that pretty, uh, well, earlier on, right? It wasn't until they revealed that, oh, this guy's been hopping bodies this whole game. Every time we find a new dead body, he was in somebody, now he was in somebody else, right? And, uh, and explains the behavior for so many different characters throughout the entire game. It's actually a really, it's a pretty damn good twist. I'm not going to lie. I, it really it got me. Uh, I didn't see it coming at all. And uh, what else is new, right? I can never see this shit for Uchikoshi. I, I could try so fucking hard, but God damn it. I like feel like I can never see his twist coming. Um, I do think this one was definitely doable and possible. I did actually see some of you guys say like, you figured it out, you know, before you got to the end. I know one of my mods said he figured it out before he got there. So it's definitely it's like they give you plenty of hints and you could piece it together, but I just did not. Even knowing the body swap mechanic, I just didn't understand how the hell it came into play and it worked. But there's so many little details the game throws in there. Like, for example, and one that I sort of jokingly even pointed out at one point was uh, when they showed uh, number 89 after he'd escaped from jail. And I was like, oh, look, his exact same animation as Rohan. And he's like cracking his knuckles. I just thought that was just like some lazy reuse of assets or something. No, he was actually in there. That was like one of the small hints that Rohan was in his body. Holy shit. That's kind of amazing. Holy fuck. Damn. And there's a ton of little hints that this entire game that uh, that hint towards it, right? Similarly, the one with like a uh, boss being in or, or uh, side of being a boss's body at the end of the Oda ending when uh, boss asks like what the other thing, what, what the other thing that Dotty discovered is or something. There's a moment where her eyes turn empty. And it's like apparently the only time that's ever really shown in the game is uh, with when Saito's in her body is the empty eyed one. I thought that they showed up before, but I guess not because I actually did remember that moment and sort of like thought about it in my head. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I just thought it was like, oh, man, that's supposed to be a really serious scene. But it did make sense because like, did we find? Yeah, I think we did. I don't know if in that side we actually ended up finding uh, So's dead body, but on Mizuki's side, we did. Um, Wait, did we? No, So. <laughs> Wait, I can't remember. No, actually, I think it was on his side. One of these, because we ended up finding um, his body in a in a vase, right? No, yeah, this side we didn't. I, I shit. On oh, this side, I shot fucking uh, so right in his dumb face. But it is, it's a very cool twist. It's it's got a lot of a lot of layers to it, and it definitely makes actually, if you want to replay the game and go back and sort of pay attention to shit, you probably notice even more things, which is really that's a really good twist, right? In my opinion, to be able to to be able to do that and to pull that off and be like the game's just suddenly hinting shit towards you. It's like, ooh, but at the same time, too, if you manage to figure that shit out, like, damn, you're going to be seeing everything left and right. Like, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm totally right. Oh, oh, oh. I wish I'd managed to notice it, but ah, got me again, man. Bastard got me again. But I do want to say last episode had a ton of really good comments, both informative and also hilarious. Um, it was really hard to pick a comment of the day here, but I think I got to give it this time to the killer. Who last episode said, uh, you murdered those people and stole Boss's body, Dante proclaimed. Who are you, really? The person inhabiting Boss leaned in. My name, she whispered. 
is Kagami. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have any idea how much I would have flipped the fuck out if that happened? This game would have immediately gotten a 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Best game. Best game. Oh my god. Just oh my god. You couldn't actually get the true ending unless you got that hilarious side bit with Kagami. That's the only way you could get the true ending. You had to you had to you had to press Kagami about the what's his name is every single time. So only because th then only then would you unlock the true ending and see who the real mastermind behind everything is. That's right, it was motherfucking Kagami all the time. God damn it. Now <laughs> he's like, Kadaka, you turned on me? He's like, motherfucker! He just starts stabbing the shit out of Dante. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so fucking funny, man. Jesus. I would have lost my fucking mind. Uh, but to Killer, thank you so much for your hilarious, truly hilarious comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. There's a lot of funny ones, though. They're, like, I, it was really hard to pick. <laughs> it was really hard to pick a comment this time. Oh, by the way, you guys did also clarify. So the whole thing with flower actually being like flammable, uh, basically being like a dust bomb, it is actually feasible. Like, I, I, I even. I was curious. I looked it up and there was a, a video on YouTube that showed somebody like, like, yeah, just blow some shit in there. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not guaranteed, but if you have it scattered basically, right? Cause each of the particles basically lights on fire and blows outward. I see. That's actually kind of neat. That, that's what's called. That is what's called a dust explosion. Very cool. Okay. And, and also when I went back and watched the, uh, watched the footage, I realized, oh, that was not a carton he threw. It was just, a, it was just a flower bag. I thought, but the shape of it made me think it was a carton, like a carton of milk. Now I will say the only thing that I'm still a little, like, I'm a little maybe slightly worried about is the whole insinuation we seem to be getting that potentially, potentially when I hear Iris saying, parallel worlds are real. And like, we're like just at the last moment we're selling in a pull some fucking zero escape shit where like the stuff from this side is gonna affect this other side right like in the in the zero escape games they made that a primary like gameplay feature it was actually really clever i actually thought it was neat how they did that you know i mean it is sort of like what steinsgate does with yes quote unquote parallel worlds and uh jumping from you know from your future self to your past self to your previous mind and stuff um, and his was like literally like this uh, interesting ability where you use the morphogenetic fields to jump between versions of yourself, one where you died and one where you didn't, you know, or one where you killed somebody or one where you didn't or so, you know, just shit like that. Um, and it was, it was an interesting way because it allowed you to carry over story bits between different routes in a timeline like this. Right. But this game, like, I'm, I don't know. I'm a little bit like, uh, when, it, when first it seemed like they were giving him a way out, like, oh, okay. You're just remembering it because it was brought up at some point, you know, maybe that we didn't see. Um, but he's like, no, wait, parallel worlds are rare. I'm hoping to God that doesn't end up just at the last minute being some, additional thing here i'm hoping there's some other reason behind it because that'd be really stupid in my opinion only because there has had it's had no story build up other than iris being like parallel worlds are real at least seemingly unless there's some shit i've been missing but like you know the body swapping thing for example like that this game throws a bajillion hints at you they're like it's been totally built up that is the biggest thing of this entire game right the body swapping thing that's the shit that they built up and i thought they did a really good job with so if they suddenly just throw parallel worlds at the end, I'm gonna be like, ah, <laughs> I don't know about that, but that might just be another red herring. Um, cause clearly, uh, Uchikoshi is putting in quite a few red herrings in this game, but I think this, this could be the last episode. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how far exactly this is going to extend out or maybe the, I'd say at least at, at, at the most two, but we're heading back. We do see that Renju's dead, which means that now his mind is in 89's body, which is now, which is also what, uh. Oh, that's right, actually. That's his original body. Oh, shit. That's actually Dante's original body, too. I wonder if he is actually going to switch with him. Then Crazy crazy Pants would have his old body back, and then I'd have my body back. Mmm, interesting. I, I actually like the twist, too, that you ended up being 89 the whole time. That's That's pretty cool, and how you, like... You know, you had those memories with Iris, but it wasn't you. It was so like, by the way, I, I said, oh, I was I was right that Dante was the original Cyclops killer. Only kind of really right. Only kind of only his body. But the person died a was not the Cyclops killer. So not quite right. Only half right. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I was I was so fucking sure too. damn. <sighs> That's what I fucking get. How dare I know your place, peasant. All right. Day six. Susai. Let's see how this crazy banana shit ends.
Yeah, I wonder if this may be the opportunity for us to all get our bodies back. Back to the place I once belonged. Ah, Renji's fucking dead. Man, Renji got fucked up. You're awake. Actually, it's, well, Rohan, really. Damn it. I don't think you can release yourself. This is crazy, crazy ass all that. We'll do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? I don't know. Use your crazy Iba powers. Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me. I cannot. Why not? My body has short circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Gah, bitch. Unfortunately, my communication functions are still operational. Oh, and also, uh, Pooter seems to be uh, hacking into her, right? I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? And, well, Boss is still here, right? Boss has not been taken over in this route. There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Bitch! Likely a result of Congressman Sejima's interference. Uh, wait, it's, it's so alive in this route? I'm, I'm losing track of time and, and place here. Uh, I... Wait, is he? I think he is. Wait, hold on. I I, you know, I actually don't remember. I need to look at the flowchart again. The body swapping thing, though, it's like... I, I, I seriously had to stop and think about it, because it's like... It's, it is kind of like, who the fuck is who now, right? There was a lot of that shit happening. Yeah, I think so is still alive. Yeah, I don't think he's died. Yeah, I think he's still alive. I really got a chance. Like, fuck, man. It's like, uh, oh, hey, Saito. Oh, Jesus. This is what he. This is what he looks like normally. It's. It's just. It's just Dante with a with a turtleneck. <laughs> Damn. Very a very foreboding turtleneck. Somehow I feel like your alpha should be like darker or something. You just look goofy. Like this. I mean, to be fair, my outfit's already kind of dark, right? So, mace just wouldn't work, but... <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like he's just getting ready for, like, a bar mitzvah or something. I just dressed up for the yearly Christmas party. So, profession, NPO representative. Likes likes fireworks, dislikes humans. Hobbies, murder. He likes fireworks? What? Skill, stabbing, strangling, killing, shooting. Over Overview. Side of association with son. His mother died giving birth to him. Born with a brain dysfunction that left him unable to properly secrete oxytocin. He can only feel pleasure from murder. The hell? We're still missing a person at this point in the game? thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only yeah. reason. Yeah, he's like he's still he's still there. Look at him scowling at me. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. I want you fucking dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. Climactic. Ah, hey, it's me. You're Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Renju's body on the ground, without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now, you used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sync machine to exchange minds? God, I love the voice of this, of 89, though. Like, holy shit, dude. His voice is fucking great. Could he bring me a bedtime story every night? <laughs> he died of natural causes? What? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. But how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? What do I know about Saito, the protect machine, changing personalities? The current. Did it unlock your memories? So it's like some shit where, like, this game does occur in the Zero Escape universe where this, like, whole morphogenetic bullshit is possible. The current. Wait, what? Then tell me. This body was originally... Mine. That means your body... This is your body, isn't it, Saito? Words came out easily. I don't know why, but a moment of harsh realization I knew. 89's body is mine, and mine is Saito's. 
Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. Well, give me back my body. Where's Iris and Otome? Don't worry, I haven't killed them yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now. Such a dirty whore mouth. All right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? Cool. Yeah, a lot, actually. It's early Wednesday morning. Shuka was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? Saito asked him what he did every day until now. So, yeah, so now he's going to tell me what he did on this side. Day one. So I'll explain what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to his abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. After, Renju, after taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko, then brought the body to Bloom Park. Just kind of glossing over this because it's basically the same, right? But as they explained it to me, I somehow felt that I already knew. I didn't understand why. I felt like it was being etched into my brain. Um... Oh, yeah. Why was the phone in the rental horse? Oh, right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So... I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. Are those things usually hollow in the inside like that? I didn't think they had like like the mouth that actually like went down inside of them, but ah, whatever. It's a weird theme park. Nay. The horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Dad too. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. I even video called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. Hmm. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscate. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Interesting. Date, do you remember? Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki. Inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m., right before Renju called Iris. You told her. Oh. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. So I actually did save her there. I didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. Hey, I actually did something good. <laughs> Not warn her. Interesting. That's cool. I actually like that. that. So that that actually did amount to something. She would have been taken here. I decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However, you got in an accident around 6:10 p.m. and lost consciousness. Ah, <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable. So it's all good. But that's that's right. That's why Renju's body's so fucked up. It's because he got in a car accident. He's bleeding all over the place. His body's that's why his body's messed up. I forgot about that. Day three. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. That's why he said he died of natural causes. He just he was already he was already dying by that point. I left the hospital, rented a car, and headed to Iris's house. 
I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. Well, she was dancing on her live stream. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you. But when you tried to bring her here... I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. Shambles! <laughs> Got the base on this guy. Shambles! I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew, it was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. Therefore. By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. The man you call Pewter. It is a story after that. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? All right. Damn it, Pooter. You and your gay love with Renju. So Pooter came up with a plan to help 89 escape. Rohan is 89, got into the car with Saito as Renju and fled from the police. God, I can't believe it. The thing is, though, like, how the fuck? <laughs> Do Renju, like, operate a car by this point or operate anything. He's like, I'm on the, I'm on death's door. <laughs> Let's go ahead and drive a few miles. Where did you want eight, number 89 to escape to? Or when escape? I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ. I came up with a plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you while you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. That's why I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. But I'm if you escaped with 89 in the car. I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. We had a good old time. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about, but I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. <laughs> Somehow managed to put him to sleep and get the drop on him. Again, it's a little bit of a glossing over with like, okay, his body is like in absolute shambles and can barely move and do shit. And somehow, somehow he's able to operate a vehicle and to get the drop on Rohan and put him to sleep and shit. But maybe he had a fucking, I don't know, a vat of chloroform he just happened to slip and fall into. Or a tranquilizer, I don't know. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. <laughs> natural causes caused by this terrible accident that was not natural. Um, about the shooting. Just mercenaries I hired. Just some dudes. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. <laughs> I paid them with his money. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. <laughs> it's real. It's actually surprisingly easy to hire a whole army of hitmen. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. 
but they had already been paid good money, so I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then, Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own without consulting me. Day five. I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m. I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. I told her where to meet and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. All according to Iris' plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. And I was right there the whole time. I see. Go with the person I trust most. Please don't worry about me, Iris. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. So the person she trusts most. It wasn't, it wasn't Reggie, it was 89. You, Date. Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, <laughs> I went to sleep. I restrained her and called to Tomi. I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. <laughs> you guys made this shit really easy for me. Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. Uh, about Monica's murder 18 years ago. Why'd you kill her? I was only 12, but I remember it vividly. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. It's kind of funny that Iris would refer to 89 as uncle when in reality, he's actually her half brother. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 sorry. A wait, Sa Saito is her half brother. Never mind. That's right, I'm just some dude. <laughs> I am actually some dude. I have no relation to Iris in, in reality. The body I'm in is, is technically half-brother. But, yeah. So, see ya. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's just starting to confuse me a little bit. Why'd you kill Monica? I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. We saw in the Somnium, which is expected. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me. And she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were... complicated. <laughs> my motives are... complex. <laughs> I definitely got that vibe from that line. Look at so. Ah, 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 ah. Sometimes, I think... If I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Maybe the murders six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan. Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. And maybe Shoko Nodami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. Listen to the rest. Sorry, 
I don't have anything else to say to you. I think I think I covered all the plot points. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. Time to die. So, shall we get started? Give me my body back. Give me my body! It's fine, I like that one better anyway. Ow. Please take out the... What a strange fake eye. Oh, okay, good. Thanks. Glad you didn't grab my real eye. That would have really sucked. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Bloop. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It's ready. Ah. Oh, God, here we go. Interesting. I wonder if I actually have to let time run out on this one, maybe. Well, if I get my old body, my, my old body back, I can uh, still this is the still still put Iris back in my uh, or uh, uh, Iba back in my uh, my eye socket at least, right? Yeah. Also, ew. I, seriously, what the fuck? Why did you so casually just like it's just that easy? Just go in there, stick your fucking thing. Didn't even flinch at all. It's like ah, blah, just rip that shit out. Oh god. Dante's busting a move. That was. Damn it, why can't I wake up? This doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera. Oh, I'm actually gonna be controlling myself this time. For the first time. Mental lock one, backwards. Two. I'm guessing we're getting a good five then. Three. Ugh. Four. Five. Search Konami Date. Date Konami, Abyss a Special Agent. Verify identity. What? Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Cool. I did it. I'm good. I, interesting. It was it was backwards because it was looking outside the monitor, wasn't it? Concealed. Might have to like break monitors in a specific order or something. Am I being synced? Hey, look, I feel like it's rolling me. Okay. Um, is there just one exit and monitor? Oh, the time isn't going down. Interesting. Sink. Uh, and nothing costs me any time. Hit. Damn, what is going on here? Okay, that didn't work. Investigate knife. What? Ow. Oh. Damn it, what is this? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I'm actually almost wondering if... Uh, oh, wow, look at that. I'm almost wondering if maybe perhaps there's like a secret to this and that... Like two endings. One where you want... One where you solve it, but... And one where you actually let time... You somehow... You actually maybe want your time to run out here, right? 
I don't know. So you do get your body back. That'd be kind of an interesting twist, right? Where you actually want time to run out. But nothing's making my time my time go down. Apparently I made progress. Uh what about the exit? The door. Open. Won't open. Go to the sink room, huh? Oh, that cost me time. I don't know, it kind of depends whether I... Do I want to get my old body back? Or do I not? Okay, 300, 300 now. Um, Just the sink machine. It's a sink machine. Investigate. I'm free. Ow. Is there a hole in his hand? What? Me? What was he doing? Sink here. Um, investigate. Ow. Again. Showing like the origins of everything here. Yeah, I think it is. Showing it all began. But we still have yet to get the reasoning behind a lot of it. A door? What is this? This wasn't here before. It seems pretty linear so far. I'm losing time in exactly these same places, right? This is... Back at the warehouse again? Yep. This shit happen. Or am I seeing the future? Yeah, fuck. Pool of blood. Pick up picture, scoop up blood, stick hand in, investigate. Pick up picture. The picture. No. I don't think it matters what I pick. Okay, grab it again. Blood. Uh, scoop up blood. Music's going in. I can't even scoop up the damn blood. Blood. Stick hand in. Damn. Ah! Oh, this. <laughs> it's them. <laughs> Demon Date. 
Oh, freaky. Blood physics. I'm sinking. Sink. No, don't sink. I can't stop it. Ah. Uh. Oh no, I can't and I can't do anything. What do I do? Uh, run slowly in place. Bitch. Uh, uh. Oh shit. What is this? No. Go look at Oh, Bummer. It's going to knock my time down to zero, right? That was. Day six, Dante eight. The origin of it all. Show me the truth. It's a cool sequence. Very cool. Day six, Wednesday. Hawkeye. Hawkeye. <laughs> I did it. 
I did it! Demon power! Oh, this feeling! I'm back. I got it all back! This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Oh! I think I'll keep it. Could she do anything? I know she was like short circuited. Can she like shock him or anything? Ah! Well, I'm back! In my own body! He's like, ah, oh, a little slightly better. A little woozy though. Why do I have to be still woozy? And he's totally fine. This prototype machine has a special function. Didn't it? Didn't I drug my whole body? The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other oh. body receives a sedative. Well, there you go. You will be feeling it soon. I'm feeling it right now. <sighs> oh, but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. So interesting. I do actually end up getting my body back. I wasn't sure, because the thing is, you end up sort of like, you know, you grow an attachment to the the person that you're seeing, right? Their, their body. So I wasn't actually sure if maybe we would 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 have it so I'd still keep my old, the, you know, Saito's body and like kill off my old one or something. But nope, they actually did do the switch. That's all right. I like. I really like the '89's uh, baritone bass ass voice. Anyway, sorry, Greg. My body won't move. My vision is getting hazy. Consciousness was melting away. Clarity fading. I don't know what what happened. I could only watch it unfold in front of me. A scene that played before my eyes left me dumbfounded. It was a fragment of my memory all, lost all those years. A piece of my past buried deep in my subconscious. The truth. Oh! Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Ah, fuck off, Iris. Get out of here. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, poke it. fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win. I actually just realized we did the for the rock paper now scissors thing. We did the exact same thing in the uh, other up, one, up, right? Side to side, up, down, when I played rock paper scissors against her, I did scissors too, but I it ended up being exactly <laughs> the same as this, where she did a rock again. Slight reference as well. That's kind of clever. I mean, I just happened to pick scissors, Iris, but remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about? A set. A set? Sounds like ass. <laughs> That's right. Turns out that was the real reason. But Iris just blocked that shit out of there. Yeah, it sounds like ass. Ass is funny. Yeah, it is. All right, you want to go see Toy Story? Yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> That's right. I thought of that name. This is when I taught Iris about her name. Greek and Egyptian mythology, too. I'm going to tell you some really deep, dank Greek and Egyptian lore here, all right? It's 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 a big, long, extended reason why this is this should be your name. Aeson. It's pretty. I love it. You see that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess, and the goddess of rainbows, too. That's right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. Good news. Hey, Uncle, you met Mommy at this shrine, right? I was. I was bleeding out. Kind of sucked, actually. Hey, baby. Nani the fuck? Ooh. Hey, girl, what's up? You want to hang out later? When am I going to hear good news from you two? 
What? When will Uncle be my dad? <laughs> Daw. Cute. The open Omiyaki War. It does actually like it, it, it is kind of clever how they did this, you know, because it really does like they painted this this picture right of 89 being part of the family and everything but it seems so like up to this point you seem kind of detached from it right like i mean they're not talking about me they're talking about this other guy right so you seem like the whole point is trying to get this other guy um to potentially be back in their lives again maybe right like that's like where this is going they're going to find a way to get him to come back again but then suddenly you realize all those things they were talking about was actually you. They were actually talking about you. And then you suddenly it's like, whoa, but it's a whole different meaning on everything. Right. And it's it is. It's very clever. I'm I I do like this. I think that there's a lot of really great things about this twist that sort of just just changes your whole perspective on the story. You know, there's a similar well, not similar, but there, there's a twist similarly in Zero Time Dilemma. I remember also despite that game having a lot of problems actually as well. Um where the whole, basically the whole narrative flips on its head. And I think you guys probably know what I'm talking about, which was also, I remember being a very clever twist, right? Like it was like, holy shit, it was so cool. You know, so it, it, like a lot of times a, a, a really good twist can help to sort of, you know, overcome maybe some other narrative pitfalls and things that other problems that were within the game. Like I am finding like a lot of similarities between Zero Time Dilemma and this game in that way, right? That said, I do think this game probably has a bit more heart than Zero Time Dilemma does, which Sounds probably super anime. <laughs> the heart of the cards. I, mean, I, I do think the characters in this one are generally a bit better than Zero Time Dilemmas. And, I mean, like I said, I think Mizuki is the best character that Uchikoshi's ever written. I'm actually enjoying this 89 stuff too. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Oh, you. Every day? Aw. Aw. Hey, tell me, do you want to live together, the three of us? I mean, I, you know, I was next hitman and I might put you in danger, but come on. <laughs> uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well, then hypothetically fuck man the voice acting in this game too i i just i have to give it to them it's so good like listen to that it sounds so, like fuck man so good in this game what if iris and i were being hunted down by a secret organization well i'd defend you of course i mean i'm fucking falco bitch what if they're zombies zombies remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm <laughs> because it was dark and it came out of nowhere but fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then, my answer is yes. Aw. So, you want to go clean? Yes. Yes, Adult Gohan, I do. Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But... There is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? This is... Now I understand. I understand why Rohan Kam Kumakura wanted these two dead. Ah. Uh, so Sejima asked Rohan to take Monica's corpse deep in the mountains where no one would find it. Rohan found out that Atomi knew about it. Mmm. I see. He also found out that Monica had given birth to a child. If the media got a hold of it, Congress Sej Congressman Sejima would be ruined. I actually, I actually thought it was just simply that he knew what 89 was doing, right? And he was like, oh, okay, well, you know, this is me saying, I'm going to let you go, but not really, right? <laughs> oh, what? You're, that's the person you're hanging out with and dating? What a surprise that is. Oh, well, right? <laughs> you know, basically like saying, you're on this, I'm going to let you go, but not really. And that information would no doubt lead to discovering Monica's murder. So Insaito would be arrested immediately. And that investigation would lead straight to Rohan. Yeah. 
but Raw had never told So about Hitomi and Iris. I don't know why not. Maybe he decided it wasn't important enough to mention. He played it so close to the, to ch the chest, need to know basis only. Th that way, there'd be no loose ends. That's why Rohan hired the assassin Falco, meaning me, to kill Otomi and Iris. Damn it! More dramatic irony! Stop it! You got it. I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. I do actually wonder if up to this point, um, was 89 really killing, like, women and children for his job? Of course, I couldn't go through with it. But if I didn't kill them, someone else would. I was sure of it. I need a plan. How could I get out of the organization to keep them safe? But I couldn't think of anything. I didn't know what to do. I need advice from an old friend. I see. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, all right? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. The truth is, Boss and I were... Oh, right, because you used to be a cop. Boss and I were both in the same rookie class of police re recruits in our 20s. We've been close ever since. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. Boss explained Abyss in sinking to me. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that could work. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. I mean, I guess, but it's kind of like, Dude, I like my body. <laughs> Can I just hop back again? It's two birds with one stone, right? Not gonna start with this ugly, bald, fat dude. Fuck you. <laughs> you switch bodies with it. She made a good point, and I had no reservations about giving up my body. Uh, okay. The body had soaked in so much blood over the years, I was almost glad to be rid of it. But I did have a single regret. Well, yeah, right. And then he wouldn't be able to see a Tomy in them. With my body switched, I couldn't show myself to Otomi or Iris. I would never be able to see them again. But I didn't care, as long as they were safe. All right. Leave everything to me. Yeah. I mean, in the end, he would... I mean, he's done a lot of terrible shit, too. So he would always be a, a risk to them, right? He would always be a risk... There would always be a risk that he'd be arrested at some point as well. So it's not like... Like, yeah, I just switched back and we're all good. It'd be like, yeah. Hmm. In the end, he's still he's still a criminal, right? He still did some terrible shit. So. Hayato Yagyu. Oh, that was my real name. Hayato Yagyu. Damn, Dante, could you have an easier to pronounce the name? We finally got it. Boss. How did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? <laughs> it was easy. I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Sure, it'll be easy. Because he's about to switch bodies. Okay, so this is what we were seeing in the Somnium. Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not be waking up for a while. Remember... To get your consciousness to fully transfer. Just gotta hang yeah, out in there. I know. I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes. Right. We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three. Two. One. Ow, ow, ow.
Sing from his perspective, all right. Oh. Oh, they're see they're gonna be singing too, right? Now they're gonna be like, oh shit. This guy's been part of the ser the serial murders. Please. Help me. Help me. Ah, Take this, white figure. The blue figures will reign. The blue man group shall reign on. It, you're... It's... me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. No, I'm Falco! And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Boss Pooter explained to me. There wasn't just one Cyclops serial killer. There were two. One was Rohan, the other was Saito Sejima. The sink revealed everything. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. Huh? What? What? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Wait, seriously? He just got up and got out of there? That was easy. <laughs> Which way did Rohan go? Huh? Okay, he's right there. Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. Oh my god, did we not tell anybody else about this? I guess it's supposed to be a secret ship, but come on, man. Did I do something wrong? Oh my god. Okay, a little stupid. No, don't tell me. Like, I get it, but at the same time, come on, guys. Come on. Shout out of the room like that. I had a bad feeling. I know, like, this random cop would know that, but, like, why weren't we keeping an eye on him, right? Why didn't we have, like, one of our own guys down there with him? I had a bad feeling. An awful, terrible feeling down to the bones. I knew where he was headed. We're going to have the parking lot. Got in a car and floored, floored it. Ah, so who we actually saw in the Somnium. Yeah. Oh, hello. What are you doing here at this hour? Yeah. Such beautiful eyes. Yeah. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. That was not actually him. Oh, Interesting. Um, come on in. That's why we see from... That's why we see from Rohan's perspective. Clever. Very clever. You bastard! No! Stop! Come on! Yeah, I did. Stop right there. We're here too, by the way. <sighs> God damn it, Rohan. <laughs> Rohan Gohan. <laughs> Hitomi had to endure a long, complicated surgery, but she survived. But it came at a price. She, she was left with a permanent injury. She lost all use of her right hand. 
Thanks to the bullet, I fire for my own fucking god damn it. I mean, Rohan's gun, whatever. My bad, sweet cheeks. I said nothing. I got up and left the hospital room. I left all my memories with her. That night, I visited the Kumakurush building and called them all together. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If you dare demon touch anyone. If any of you lay a single finger on them. I'll bite them, I'll bite them off. You don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. Wow, dude, I mean, yes, yes, sir, you wanted to get it. <laughs> I go over there and just like fucking break the guy's face. <laughs> Anybody else? God, you're so fickle, sir. You're so fucking fickle. Ah! I went to the Sos mansion. My boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops murders. As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. So I went to the Sejima residence. When I got there, I said I wanted to meet Saito in the inter into the intercom. After a while, he the gate opened and Saito himself welcomed me. Uh, oh, right, because we did see... I was like, how would they suspect... We, we saw Saito's face in the reflection of the uh, the glass, right? Or the in the Somnium. That's how we knew. So we're like, oh, okay. That's who the other person is. Gotcha. Hey, buddy. What is it you want to talk about? Want to go out for murder later? Ooh, hey, look how tall I am. I'm also thick and radic. The best kind. Hey. Uh. Best Saito and Rohan. How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. Yeah. Hey, the other thing we've been doing together, why don't we take those eyes again? That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. Saito. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. <laughs> he should be pretty damn suspicious, boss point. Bring him to Abyss. Hey, Saito. Could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps the police station? Uh-oh. Suddenly bodyguards rushed out from inside the mansion. They surrounded me before I could react. What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Damn, I suck at pretending. Let's get a change of scenery. Yes, the same bodyguards too. Fuck. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. Ow. So it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. I see. Damn you, truth serum. 
Damn you, Matrix powers! You got into that body with a sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. Uh. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba, you there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. Me, rich, spoiled son. A few days later. Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. Ah, oh, yeah. But why would he want to get into this guy's body anyway? All right, let's go. Just let him go. Apparently nobody was what? Again, like what are you doing? Follow him. <laughs> what? Seriously, what are you doing? It's almost like we didn't prepare for this at all ahead of time. <laughs> what? Why would he want to jump into his body? My memories after that were lost in a violent haze. Seriously, why would Saito want to jump into the body of a dude he just tortured? Well, that looks like fun. Let me hop into this body of dudes like bleeding out, who is a lot fucking older than uh, like, seriously, how old is this guy? Oh, we're getting some new in the album too. Um, he's much older than freaking, uh, yeah, 53. Older than Saito, Saito. Actually, they would have both been younger at that point. That would have been six years ago. So he would have been um, 47. And Saito would have been 24, but still quite a bit older than him. Why would he want to jump in there? Just hope, hope to control the Yakuza or something? I kind of wish he'd give an explanation. Like, I just want to try it out. What was he hoping to hop back again? And again, then why did the guards just let him go? <laughs> again, it's like the same thing with the other thing where the police officer's like, oh God, we lost track of 89. Whoops, my bad. Just... This one guy happened to be there and we didn't tell anything about it. Didn't tell him anything about it. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, is that, is that, I think it's a Terminator reference. Although she's not being melted. It's sort of like being lowered into by a, by a chain and then he gives a thumbs up while he dies. So I was, yeah, I was not being uh, melted alive there. I bought. Holy shit. All the different designs. Although all still very Monokuma-esque, even the beta designs here. I was forcibly disconnected during the sink. Saito's mind overwhelmed me, only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. Oh, okay. I thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to, but I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to, be, mine to hold. It felt like reality just itself was disappearing. I was confused and lost, like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath, beneath me walking under the city lights. When I regained my faculties, I found that I was in Golden Yokojo. My wandering with no destination in mind was interrupted by a woman. Hey, baby. Want a good time? You're... Saito Sejima? Hmm. I guess not. Huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so... We lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Just as I thought. You've lost your memory. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me to where you belong. Come. I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. 
as a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one, never mind. So what's my new name? Huh. Why would So help with this? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. Date! One year later. Scotland to the control room. Put her head something to show me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? Oh, I just got achievements. It's a person's analyst. So I guess we must have gotten everybody. Who will, oh, Falco. Do I still have 89 here, though? I do. Uh, 42. Wow, so I was 42 and I went to a younger body. Ah, but now I'm holding it. Uh, police officer and assassin uh, likes a special elementary school teacher and her daughter. Dislikes zombies, haunted houses, evil crimes. Hobbies, camping, barbecue, okonomiyaki. Uh, skills assassination. Review Kan Konami Date's true identity, also known as Falco or 89. He was working as a police officer by day and an assassin by night until six six years ago. I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. Uh oh. Eh? Hey, Renji, what's up? Uh, anybody else around here? Uh, uh, hey, what's up? What was Falco's real name? You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hmm. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. Okay, I guess that's why So wanted him. And... Falco, the anonymous assassin, I guess. was sent to prison. Even though his son is gone now? Where he was known as number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. What happened if we exchanged minds? What are you doing? Follow him! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Anyway... They decided to keep him in a special hospital. Uh, 
Uh, about Ron after the personality exchange. Stop right there. Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title Assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. I don't feel very lucky right now. Counter attack! Huzzah! So I was off guard. Might be able to make a move. I tried to sweep side his feet. But then... You have a choice. Probably should hit my gun or something. Iris and Hitomi die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. Momo time! No, wait! Damn. Oh my god, a serious action scene? I didn't think it was possible. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Iba told me about it. Uh, it was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Iba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but the bastard got me. Take this. Oh, sweetie, God! Do it! Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. All right, Moma. I'm gonna do the thing that needs to be done. Get a firm nod and grip the gun. Following after Saito. 